In this video, a guy comes to this house's front door and immediately starts banging the door with his shoulder. He seems injured, and he has what seems like blood all over his face. After hitting the door multiple times, he just falls backward and lies on the fence, crying as if he is in pain. His body language and movements make it seem like he's drunk. Some people also commented that he's a zombie or something. It is not known who this guy is or what happened to him that made him act like this. This video is just straight up spine chilling. This video was captured on January 1st, 2023 in London. In it, two men were walking down the street when they heard someone calling them from behind. They were three men riding their bicycles. They immediately fired gunshots at them. Fortunately, it didn't hit any of the two men. They start running for their life immediately after. The men on the bicycles start chasing them down. It is not known who the three men were and what was their business with the two men. On September 2022, this video was published on TikTok. According to the uploader, his doorbell camera caught a man crossing the street at around 3 a.m. He makes his way directly to the porch of the house before eventually running up to the camera where you can see the man wearing some sort of drawn-on mask with a mustache. The homeowner eventually got out of his phone's notifications. He observes the man trying to open his door and peering into windows. He instantly put on some clothes in response to this and went outside to confront the man. He decided to phone the police and submit a report after failing to locate him. The uploader never provided an update. The man was wearing a mask, so it's unlikely that anyone will ever be able to identify him. This video was recorded on October 2nd, 2022, around 5 in the morning. It depicts three men standing in front of the door to this home. They have firearms in their possession and are dressed in masks that look like from the movie the purge. As one of them notices the doorbell camera, he covers it with his hand right away. The only thing visible in the video for the majority of the time is his glove, but for a little while, he uncovers the camera, allowing us to see all three men clearly. They are pressed against the wall and low to the ground, obviously attempting to avoid being seen by anyone inside. The homeowner finally gets out of bed at that point after receiving motion detecting notifications on his phone. He launches the app. However, all he sees is the camera being covered by a glove. He turns on the speaker and makes an attempt to determine who is on his front porch without having seen the prior video. Hello? 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 The homeowner contacts the police after the men fail to respond. However, the men had left by the time the cops arrived. Many people think that they were attempting to lure the homeowner into opening the door so that they could rob him. 
then why not make an effort to get him to answer the door when he came on the doorbell speaker? It's more obvious they were attempting to pick the lock while the camera was hidden. One can only speculate as to what they intended to do once they were inside. In reaction to an evacuation alert, a mother and her children can be seen in this video frantically gathering their belongings. Around the time the incident took place, a wildfire was raging throughout Canyon County, California. You can see the fire and smoke billowing over the neighborhood in the hills in the background of the video. Despite not knowing how much time they have, they pack as quickly as they can. Eventually, a man crosses the street and alerts the family to the impending fire. Finally, they leave the area after being taken to a neighboring hotel for safety. After the fire around the house subsided a few days later, they were able to go back and assess the damage. Their home was unharmed, but other houses in the area, however, weren't as lucky. The fire entirely destroyed a number of surrounding residences. This woman had just returned from taking her dog for a stroll. When she looks over to the right, her doorbell camera captures her beginning to unlatch the dog's leash, prompting her to immediately pick up her dog and enter. We discover the reason right away. A man enters the picture and approaches the front door directly. He tries the handle, but she was just in time to lock it. She further mentioned how the man was holding zip ties as he started donning gloves. Within the next several minutes, he peers inside the house and repeatedly tries the door handle. Finally, her next door neighbor appears outside, the man then grabs a nearby garden hose and appears to be working in the yard. The man circles to the house's back door after the neighbor departs. Camera recording. He attempts to pry open the back door which causes the resident to lock herself in a room and call the police. By the time they arrived, the man had attempted to enter the residence through nearly all of the windows. He attempted to get inside by tearing the screen off one of the back windows, but ultimately failed. He had already fled by the time the police showed up. At that time, there wasn't much the police could do. In the end, the homeowner uploaded the footage to TikTok in the hopes that someone might be able to recognize the man, but unfortunately, no one could. An unforeseen explosion of a home in Arlington, Texas is captured on this doorbell video. The massive explosion goes off a few homes down around 2 a.m. on January 1, 2022. According to reports, the explosion was brought on by a gas appliance that wasn't completely turned off. Thankfully, nobody was home when it occurred. But the house suffered major structural damage. Flying debris hit nearby buildings as well. The incident did not cause any injuries. Apartment dwellers across the street reported broken windows due to the blast. Parked cars were also damaged. Numerous calls were made to the authorities shortly after the incident. Graydon, a 10-year-old child from Riverton, Utah, was traveling alone from basketball practice to his home at about 6 o'clock in a cold December evening. He was walking along when he suddenly observed a sedan lurking behind him. When Graydon spotted it, he allegedly began moving more quickly. The car then passed him directly. In an effort to lure Graydon inside, the men in the cars pulled down their windows and claimed to have suites in the back seat. Only a few blocks separated him from his home. He then turns his back on the men and begins to get away from them even more quickly. He finally reaches the porch of his home after a brief delay. The doorbell camera at his family's home allowed us to see the car in the background as Graydon arrived. He keeps staring over at it as he approaches the front door. He tries to open the front door, but finds that it is locked. Exactly at that moment, the car's reverse signals come on Get away! Get away! 
Graydon throws rocks at them. He then sprints to his neighbor's home across the street. He gets inside in via their door as it was unlocked and locks it right away. The vehicle then turns around and starts to follow him. The car hangs about the spot for a while, watching for Graydon to return to the outside. A report was made, and the police were contacted. The men were in their 30s or 40s, according to Graydon, and had no facial hair. The police and Graydon's family are almost certain that the men tried to kidnap him that night. 